Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I am here with day 30. Yes, the last day of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. And fittingly so, our last sketch is by the uh, leader herself, Christy, and Christy's Beautiful Life. So here is the sketch that she created for this hop. And she is just amazing. You all need to check out her YouTube, her Instagram. She's on Facebook because you can find the 30 Days of Sketches there. Um, there's two pictures and a bunch of little squares on there. And so the prompt for Dottie about flair is cut apart. I have these two pictures that I absolutely adore of my kids. Uh, this is um, September 2020. My daughter had been in college and came home for a get-together with the family and her brother missed her a whole, whole lot. So this is a cut apart sheet I want to use. It looks like in the sketch, they're probably um, three by three or two and a half by two and a half. These are two by twos. And so I'm gonna have to alter a little, but that's okay. Uh, these are the distress inks that I'm gonna use and I have three different colors. And my plan is to use these instead of, on the sketch you can see, there's this little floral bits coming out from behind the picture on two different sides. And I'm thinking I'm gonna use those three inks instead um, of putting like a florally bit there. So here's my epoxy. I have two of these and I will find the other one, but uh, a big pile of things fell off m of my desk and I can't seem to find the second one that looks just like that. And I will put it on my layout once I hunt it down. So here is the plethora of papers I have for the Jen Hadfield Reaching Out Collection. And that's what I decided to use because there was a lot of phrases in this cut apart sheet that I thought was very fitting of my pictures. So I have all of these awesome things and this great sketch. So let's see how this goes. So there's this cut apart sheet here as well, but they're all too big. I considered a couple on the bottom, but then I thought it would look strange to have two different sizes of cut apart. So I'm just looking now for a base page and I really like this floral. I like that rainbow as well, but I really like the floral because it won't detract from everything else. And oh, I love that paper right there. I have no need for dancing people, which is on the other side of it, but I love that better together paper. I think it's so bold and bright and just, you know, when it came out or the first time I found it, it was in the middle of the pandemic and, you know, better together really just fit. So um, in the sketch, it looks like it is a matted layout. So I cut this down to an 11 and a half by 11 and a half. And I don't know exactly what I'm going to use to mat. That's what I start looking for. And the back side of the same paper is that floral um, rainbow. And I like it. And I leave it sit there for a few minutes and kind of debate. And just start cutting up the cut apart. And I just pretty much cut almost every one of these out. Um, some of them I'll just put in a container. Or actually I clipped them together. Um, and put them with the collection. Because I don't have anything with this collection except these papers. So I just pulled out the ones that I thought I might want to use. And then all those right there on the left are ones that I didn't think I would use. Um, they're more like greeting card kind of things like thanks or thinking of you. So I just put those in, like I said, a little clip and set them aside. So after much debate, I decided that I was going to use that Better Together paper as my mat, but I could not stand to lose all of that, so I cut uh, the insides out and gave it an inch border around, and I actually take the inside part that I cut and gut one line of it that Better Together, and so I'm going to use that as my title. So I turn my pictures down pretty um, pretty much as far as I can. Um, I could trim a little more off the one that I put on the left side, but I didn't need it to be too small, but I wanted them to be small enough to where I could accent all these fabulous cut aparts just to accentuate these sweet, sweet pictures of my kids. So look at that. I just love how that uh, heart paper really pops off of there with that dark 
background. That's why I decided to go with a dark background. There was like a polka dot uh, blue and I liked it too, but I really, really like this. Plus I'm bringing in the Better Together title um, for my page. So that works out even better because it just brings it all together. Um, so, and no, I didn't do it on purpose. Say better and together in that sentence. So I definitely want to bring that yay in because that'll also bring that dark blue in because none of the rest of the cut aparts had that bright, bold blue, at least not like as the base. So I get this little, uh, pencil that I have that I can write on things. It is a photo labeling pencil and I am not even going to try. Oh, it's creative memories. Ah. I think I was in uh, another language <laughs> on the other side of it. So I just mark where the pictures in general are going to go uh, lightly with the black side of this um, pencil so that I know A, where to ink and B, where to stop with the cut aparts because I am initially thinking I'm going to put those down first. Um, I turn my page over so that I can use my washi and washi around the edges so that they don't get caught on the page. And I start with my inking with the wild honey and I just smush it on there. I have the one go straight down and then I just have them kind of go out almost exactly like the florals are in the sketch. But I just didn't want florals. There are some that are going to be on them in those cut aparts. And I'm okay with that. I just didn't want to fussy cut any flowers. I didn't want to use anything. And like I said, I have nothing to go with this collection. Except for the cut of parts that are with it. So, um, and I was not fussy cutting those. Plus, none of them would have been big enough to fit what I wanted. So, I really just love to use mixed media anyway. So, the next one I use is Peeled Paint. And I really just tried to um, match these up as best as I could with the different colors that are in my um, layout, in the papers and everything. I could have focused on the colors in my kiddos' clothes, especially that bright shirt my son has on, which he was wearing, yes, in a layout I just did on the 28th, which was just a couple of days ago. And um, he had that same shirt on. This is uh, like four months later. <laughs> He loves that shirt. Plus his sister bought it for him. So then after I get the wild honey and the peeled paint down, I use the salty ocean to accent um, and add that extra, um, I think there's like two sprigs or three sprigs of florals coming out on the left side. So I just add that blue and that blue is pretty close to the blue in the florals that I'm going to put down. Um, nothing is exact, obviously, because it's a different brand and company, but I felt like it was the closest um, to bring out that blue that is going to be up in the top right corner. So, and I make sure to get all three of those to where they're pretty much going to be seen even when I start putting all these things down. So I want to cluster things together that kind of go together. Like, I was not initially going to put the sunshine um, on here because it's getting dark in this picture, but uh, You Are My Sunshine is that I used to sing to my daughter all the time. And so I thought I wanted to add that. And I thought that the sunshine would help break up the shine on. And then the You Are My Sunshine. So I want to cluster them together like that instead of trying to separate them. Because I feel like, you know, I'm um, connecting them. So I also put in the top corner on the right the little turtle and the sloth that says take time to slow down because I feel like both of those cut aparts are like you know taking you know being taking the time to slow down and chill out and appreciating the time that you have with you know your friends and family so uh, I put those together and then the colors from that floral up there that oh that I haven't put down yet <laughs> I put the floral down on the bottom and I put that smile there. It's going to move because I make a boo-boo. And if you've watched my videos before, I make it very clear that I'm a professional boo-boo fixer because I am a professional boo-boo maker. So, I um, a few things move just so that I can fix my mistakes. <laughs> and it's fine. Um, and that floral yeah the floral it looks sideways like it's supposed to be a heart oh it is and it's still sideways on my layout 
<laughs> you all, that's hysterical. I didn't even notice that it was a heart until just now. <laughs> it's going to move, and uh, maybe if I can get it up off the page, I'm going to turn it so that you, <laughs> you can see the heart part of it. Oh, geez. This is, it has been a really amazing month getting these layouts together. And I will confess that it is uh, March the 19th. Um, and I am completing the 30 days because I'm leaving on the 25th to go to the beach with my family and obviously cannot be doing, uh, I will take some scrapbooking supplies, but it'll, I don't know the setup would work for me to make videos. So I wanted to get them all done before I left so that I could have them all uploaded. So, um, yeah, <laughs> my head is a little cuckoo. Obviously it's a little sideways, just like that heart. <laughs> Okay, so I get the um, uh, the cut aparts in general where I want them and decide that I want the pictures down first so that I can just tuck. And I only put a little strip of adhesive in on the back of the picture so that I can tuck anywhere I need to. And so the first thing that I um, start with is the top right corner, even though I've turned this and it's at the bottom right now. So I decide that I want to ink all of the cut aparts. And so I get my crushed olive because I think that that green is going to help. Um, it's bold enough. Like I originally I thought I'd use a tumbled glass, but it's a very light blue. And so I thought I'd use this green color. It's a little bit darker. It'll help stand out. And it's very similar to the color in the... Um, the lettering as well as like on the turtle and stuff so that worked out well so I got all of those tacked down and you will see that the one floral is up at the top and the word smiles at the bottom because when I was inking smile it got like a huge smear of that green on there and I wasn't happy with that so um I tuck it in underneath the picture so now you can't see where it's got a big boo-boo Yay! However, you can see that sideways heart. Mm -hmm. I, <laughs> I'm i going to try and fix that when this video is over. Oh, bless. Anyway, so I want to put my epoxy here. And I just glue that down with my Nouveau Deluxe. And the other one is going to go, when I find it, uh, above the correctly facing heart on the right side. <laughs> I still can't believe I put that upside down. I think. Or it may go actually next to where it says smile at the bottom. I don't know. We'll see. So I think I'm going to use these Tim Holtz um, clippings. But then I change my mind and pull out this one. Now if you watch the bottom right of the screen. My son comes in my room and we're talking. And he enjoyed having his hand in my recording. And so here he comes again to point at his favorite pictures. He loves this one of him and his sister. So then I was asking him what phrases out of Tim Holtz's book I should use. So he picks one of them. And um, he's so funny. I think he'd probably stick his whole face under there if I, if he thought that I'd be okay with it. <laughs> I love him. He just turned 13 this week. So if he wants to get involved, I'm perfectly fine with that. So I pick three phrases. One that says today is a good day. One that says lucky's a state of mind. And then he picks hold on tight to your dreams. And, um, in the sketch, Christy has like a, um, a little place underneath the title that says subtitle. And even though I, I, that's why I put that today is a good day there. Cause I felt like that would be kind of like a subtitle. And then down where it says hugs to you and that cut apart, I put the lucky is a state of mind and hold on tight to your dreams. And all of that is very fitting because we are very lucky and I'm my family and they are both holding on tight to each other because they love each other, which is good. And um, so I am loving this. I had a little hard, uh, a bit of a hard time finding enamel dots that I liked. Uh, I used some white ones from the paper studio and then I used some like different shades of pink um, and those are from Park Lane. None of my colors really went because like I don't have a mustard color and that's what that yellow is and um so a lot of those other colors like a, I didn't have any bold or peachy so I just went with these pinky colors and the white because I felt like that would work the best and I just cluster them in three different places by the title by the little smiley face one of those is covering another boo boo and down by the hugs to you where the word phrases are 
And then after I get those on, and I fight with these ones right here on the smiley face, and I almost tear it, and I just fiddle, and finally I stick it down. I'm not 100% happy with the way they are, and I'm, if I find some that I like better, I may take them off. But um, for the most part, I am fine. So then I get my Nouveau drops down, and I think I'm going to use those, and then I change my mind, and I get my Ranger enamel accents, and um, I think it is called white glacier oh no glacier white and I just put them on any of these cut aparts that are not white and just put three dots in the bottom corner I just think it adds a little extra something to the layout and I really do like the way that that turned out um, and then I find in my thickers um and the set called goldenrod and honestly the hearts are very similarly shaped to the ones on this page and the colors are matching so I'm wondering if they were originally meant for this collection I have no clue but I pull three um two sets of three hearts out in like a pinky color which is the pink in the background and like a mustard color and like a uh kind of like a peach color so and I just cluster those in a couple of different places on the smile and then up on the by the sunshine and I really think that that helped add a lot to this layout. It gave it a little bit of dimension because there was nothing on here that was dimensional. Um, it was, uh, it's just, and even the epoxy flare from Dottie about flare is flatter than a normal flare. Um, but my flare is down to the nitty gritty because I'm waiting for my February um, stash to come in. And I, patiently, I'm waiting patiently. It's all good. Uh, but I was just pretty much using what I had. And I just started my collection in January. Well, like sometime in December. And so I don't have a whole lot of it. But I am working with what I've got. And I think that it's working out just fine and dandy. And I found something for every single layout that I created in 30 Days of Sketches. So I get a dark blue pen and just write 91920, which is um, the date that this um, these pictures were taken. And I think that I am done. So I'm going to show you the sketch. I hope you all will go below and um, hop along with all the awesome scrappers who are also doing the 30 days of sketches. Um, some are doing them every day. Some people are doing them once a week or anywhere in between. So I hope you all will go down below and click on their links for YouTube and Instagram. And I hope that you all have enjoyed this month of amazing sketches. I have loved this so much. I appreciate Christy so much for gathering this together. And I will be back tomorrow with a layout share for all 30 days of sketches. Have an amazing day and happy scrapping.